Through listening to you, I'm learning that our suffering is self-imposed. Every time. I want to break that cycle and live as my true, wealthy, and happy self. Can you help me to feel how Source feels and also to feel what it will be like when my biggest dreams manifest? Well, you know, we're going to start right there. You can continue in a moment with whatever else is there, but I want to start there because you hit right on what's really hot on our plate these days. And that is that through what you've been living, you have put ingredients in your vortex, ingredients for creations that you can't yet see from where you are, but that are there, ready for your realization. So when you are in the state that you are in, where you are feeling appreciation for what's going on, that's the perfect place to be for a steady escalation and expansion of more and more and more. But we want to remind you, you don't ever want to get it all done. In fact, you can't because with each piece of wonderful desire that comes into focus for you, you also accomplish a whole new vantage point with a whole new set of vibrational contrasting experiences, which cause you to continue to put more and more refined desires into your vortex. And so, you just never ever get it done. We'll hear more from you. Yeah. Basically, can you bring me to that place of what it's going to feel like? Well, the thing that we want you to hear is that we can, but we don't want to. And we can and we will if you want us to, but we want to tell you something that's even better, something that will be easy for you to hear, easy for you to accomplish, and it is really the path to living happily ever after. If you can accept the existence of this vibrational reality, and we know that you do, and if you can hear from us when we speak of the specifics of ingredients that you've put there, right down to really specific detail about things. So here it all is. The word cooperative components means that each of those desires is a vibrational being you might say it is consciousness that your life experience gave specific birth to and now those consciousnesses we know we're out there but stay with us and if you grasp this you will be a master of creation forevermore as these consciousnesses that you might call desires but they are thoughts and therefore they vibrate and if they vibrate therefore they think and if they think therefore they vibrate and if they vibrate therefore law of attraction responds to them and if vibrational law of attraction is responding to them then they are in the state of evolution so your desires are joining together in cooperation with one another <laughs> And because you put each individual desire into this vibrational reality, as they find one another, they become a reality that you're not ready to see yet, but they see and know each other. So here's the thing that we want you to hear from us. This is the leading edge piece that we are on these days. Since there is a consciousness there that knows in greater detail than you do right now, all of the things that you want all the delicious possibilities and probabilities along the way for you. And what you're wanting to know is how can you more realize them or how can you help them along the way? The answer to that is stay out of the way. We're asking you to daydream and we'll talk about that a good deal today. But sometimes you run around nightmaring instead. Getting hold of a thought that feels awful when you think it and you just keep mulling it over and that's when you do that thing that you do that causes you to hold yourself in a vibration apart from being able to experience what's being revealed to you. So stay with us. We know it's a lot of words. You know it's a lot of words. It's a lot of words. She doesn't know we're pointing at her. It's a lot of words. It's really a lot of words. And sometimes we speak so fast that there's no possible way for you to express those words. Sometimes the words come so fast, there's no possible way for you to express those words. We feel great appreciation for this. So, so, here is this 
vibrational reality that has everything that you're wanting to know about in fact it's some of what you're asking us to help you find a more sure route to we want you to know that the surest route to it is to accomplish a state of being you might do it in meditation you might do it just in pleasant thought you do do it when you slumber but it's not quite the same then it can turn into a dream but we want it to be a daydream where a thought just occurs to you that has come out of the culmination of what's here and as you catch a glimpse of it and it is so pleasant to you that you just softly without trying to make anything happen let it play out in your mind so that you catch a five six second glimpse or a ten second glimpse of what the possibility probability certainty of this vibrational reality is now did we go too far or are you following this in other words if thoughts are turning to things and they certainly are and if you are the thinker of the thoughts and you've thought so many and you've built this magnificent catalog or library of components and if your inner being and source energy are all involved in all of that and focusing unequivocally on this magnificent creation then wouldn't you mostly want to do that too mostly you would wouldn't you mostly want to be in a vibrational place where you could begin to get the feeling at least and then maybe glimpses of what's there sometimes though in fact often though in fact almost all the time though <laughs> when you get a glimpse of something you jump in with both feet and want to turn it in to a reality that you accomplish and so you turn it into something that requires action before it has given you enough information for you to realize that you don't need to act that the energy that creates worlds will make it big enough that you can just follow the force of it you see what we're getting at when you jump in and try to act too soon you introduce resistance into your equation which makes you oblivious to the dream does this make sense to you where if you can let the dream evolve let your vibration find it each time you find it even if you get distracted next time you will find it more easily and next time you will find it more easily and you know this you've had these experiences happen to you you sort of kind of know what we're talking about it's not your usual pattern of thought because most humans don't really even know about their vortex and they don't know the power of it but what we are wanting to emphasize here right here right now is something that we've been talking about for a long time but never this clearly we want you to experience firsthand the power of non-resisted thought and we want you to therefore recognize the mundane quality the lack of power in a normal human objective pros and cons pluses and minus thought you see what we're getting at do you know that your desires are pure but your beliefs aren't because when you want more money that could be a pure thought in which case the abundance that you're seeking could just be floating into your experience in lots of different ways but your awareness of your now reality your awareness of how much money is in your bank account or your awareness of how others around you are or have lived those thoughts contradict this pure thought of abundance and so you aggravate your own vibrational state of being with something that you think is objective and most humans would say to you is a good idea because they don't want you to go off the deep end and daydream your way through life but we do because we know the power of non-resisted thought we also know the value of your contrasted thought we know the value of step one of the process we know it's important for you to know what you don't want and you got to think about that you got to think about what you don't want before you can launch the rocket of desire about what you do want so you say well you all Abraham non-physical whoever you are you have us in a sort of bind here because 
we're here exploring contrast for the purpose of taking thought forward how do we keep from getting stuck in that contrast and we say be aware of it and if we were standing in your physical shoes so if you've been listening to us for a little while step one is ask and contrast helps you do that and creation comes from that that's what puts the stuff into your vibrational reality step two is source answers your request someone should write that book ask and it is given <laughs> because it is real when you ask there becomes a vibrational reality and source gives undivided which means non-resisted attention to what you're asking for and the powerful law of attraction then gathers all the cooperative components of other non-resisted powerful thoughts and that's why your vortex is such a powerful thing step three is you've got to find some way of getting out of step one which means you got to find some way of getting out of step one <laughs> which really means you've got to find some way of getting out of step one but you're oriented towards step one because that's where the struggle is and that's where the monuments come from and that's where all the sacrifice comes from and blood gets a lot of attention but you got to find some way of getting out of step one which means you got to get into the receiving mode and when you're in the receiving mode then your vibrational reality can begin to occur to you in its whatever form you're ready to realize if we could convince you today of the existence of this vibrational reality this vortex if you really believed us things that you want would begin pouring to your experience in such frequency and abundance that those around you would think that something freaky had happened to you don't worry you're not ready for that because while you accept it conceptually you haven't yet mastered the feeling of alignment with it but when a daydream occurs just for a moment and it's just blissful about some experience and it's a what you want and why you want it but you are not yet trying to fill in how where when and who which always complicates it by adding resistance to it as you catch these glimpses and just savor them now we don't want you to learn to do this so that you can make wonderful things happen although as you learn to do this you will cause wonderful things to happen but we don't want your motive to be this is how I get wonderful things to happen we want your motive to be this is who I am this is how I am supposed to feel this is me in sync with the power of the universe feeling no need to apply effort no need to justify my worthiness no need to defend it against anything just me natural and me standing in this blessed place of acknowledging the beauty and blessedness of my being and getting to realize it and enjoy the realization of it oh you know those positive emotions that you feel sometimes that's you in sync with your inner being and feeling what your inner being is feeling in that moment that's you tuned in tapped in turned on that's you in your true full power and friends nothing less than that will do for you but that does not mean that you should never be back in step one of course you should of course you will be back in step one but you know let's put some practical human comparison to this if we were standing in your physical shoes knowing what we know and knowing what we know about you and why you're here we would allot one percent of our experience to the struggle of life where we're launching desires one percent and the other 99 percent we would be daydreaming the other 99 percent would be basking would have our feet in the river would be floating on the sea would be making love we would be eating something delicious we would be focused upon the beauty of nature and what is around we would be daydreaming about any of those things we would be sitting in a closet with no external awareness of anything and our mind would be going to those kinds of places not because we need to create but because that's who we all are we are meant to feel good we are meant to feel good and the universe responds to our good feeling <laughs>